It would be enough if this byway was just about the beauty that abounds along its winding rural roads. But there is much more to this scenic byway than simple scenery. There is rich history, evident nowhere more than at the Gila Cliff Dwellings National Monument. More than 700 years ago, the Mogion people called this overlook home. Today, visitors can climb ladders to reach the pockets in the cliff face and imagine what life might have been like for those early residents of what is now southern New Mexico. The cliff dwellings and much of the byway itself sit in the Gila National Forest. Many travelers pull over to marvel at the truly wild, wide open spaces the Gila includes. And wild is a key word here. The National Forest includes three designated wilderness areas where extraordinary efforts and regulations attempt to limit any impact by man and the modern world. In fact, the Gila Wilderness Area holds a special place in conservation history. We were the first uh, wilderness to be set aside many years ago and uh, we're pretty proud of that. And uh, it is a beautiful place. Lake Roberts is also a beautiful place on this byway. In addition to serving as a popular fishing hole, Lake Roberts hosts a unique hummingbird festival each July. The region counts more than 330 species of birds among its residents. The small town of Pinos Altos offers unique experiences on this byway, an opera house with melodramas on stage, a classic Old West saloon, and a church that dates back to the gold mining boom of the 1860s are just part of the charm here. A few miles away is the big city in these parts. The fact that it's called Silver City tells a great deal about its past. The huge open pit Chino mine outside of Silver City was once the largest such mine on the planet. In contrast to the city's name, however, the Chino operation is a copper mine. Today, Silver City is a college town, a tourist draw, a popular retirement location, and a burgeoning center for art and artists. We just have about everything anybody would want. That everything includes a replica of a 19th century log cabin donated by movie maker Ron Howard after he shot the film The Missing in New Mexico. The cabin is billed as similar to the one Catherine Antrim lived in during the 1870s. Her son William lived with her in that Silver City cabin before going on to become better known as Billy the Kid. Silver City serves as a hub for the annual Tour of the Gila bike race. The race has grown in size and popularity and now draws attention and bikers from around the world. The racers pedal hundreds of miles over the five-day event each spring, much of it along the Trail of the Mountain Spirits scenic byway. It's not entirely clear if the spirits in this trail's title refers to the original ancient settlers or to the byway's ability to lift the spirits of its visitors. Either way, traveling the Trail of the Mountain Spirits is a trip well worth the time.